guys, welcome back to the 31 Days of Halloween. Today I'm going to show you how to do this high fashion gouged out eye type look. Beauty is pain is the most used term within the modeling realm. If it's not painful, it's not picture quality. With that being said, join me on this magical tutorial today, which kind of brings you guys into my realm. Modeling is something that I've been doing since I was about 19 years old. Even though I am not a professional model, I still have a photographer that I trust and love very dearly. And to get high-end Vogue type pictures, he taught me that beauty is pain. With all that said and done, we are going to start the tutorial now. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting makeup tutorial where we're first starting off with concealer and we're going to be smearing that all over our lovely luscious skin. Now I know that I am fucking as white as a piece of paper, but you got to do something to make your skin still as flawless as a piece of paper. So I'm going back with the e.l.f. foundation and I'm going to be smearing that all over top of that concealer that we just laid down. This will ensure a nice smooth base to work with no imperfections whatsoever and yes you do want to make sure to bring it down to your neck to blend it in with the rest now i know it changes no tones about my face whatsoever but it makes it look flawless so just cover over that with a either translucent powder or one that is the same shade now taking a nice deep set gray color we're going to be going into the crease of our eyes and fanning that out towards the brow bone. This is going to be another kind of cut crease tutorial for you. And then taking an even darker shade of gray, stick that in the same spot and then blend outwards. Now you guys can't see this little cocaine white bag, but it is a white eyeshadow in the color pearl and we're going to be placing that on the lids of our eyes. This is where the cut crease comes into play. And you can see how harsh that line is. Just make sure that it's all even and pretty and jump right into the eyelining portion. Now we're gonna be creating one of the exaggerated cat eye effects with this. This is kind of like my normal makeup. I love doing it and just extend the wing going out towards your eyebrow and then make sure that it's uh, pretty much a straight line going across. Do a little jig. Now, taking the eyeliner pencil, we're going to be going into the water lines of the eyes and just making those black. Same with the mascara, except don't put this in your water line. Put this on your eyelashes. Now, taking that eyebrow goop, we're going to be spiking up those eyebrows in a luscious arched form. And then taking some brown eyeshadow, this is what I'm going to be using to contour. I want this to be a higher-end fashion e shoot type of thing. So, I wanted to exaggerate those bones as well as the chin, the jaw, and slightly on the forehead. Not much. As well as the nose. Now that we've got that all done, it is time for the lashes. Don't ask why, I did stick the eyelashes on and then I had to remove them from the left side uh, only because of this portion coming up. Now, taking some liquid latex and some ripped napkins, we're going to be placing this in three separate lines going from the forehead, down over the nose, and slightly onto the cheeks. This is going to be kind of like a claw mark and if you would like to see this part more in depth I do have a tutorial called the clawed face tutorial and it is in one of my special effects folders on the channel now we're gonna be gluing some of these studs I actually just ripped these off of one of the old belts that I don't wear anymore and I took off the little prongs on the back so they wouldn't stab my face and then latex those on and then taking some black eyeshadow, we're going to be going into the crease of the clawed marks that we just put on. And I'm going to be exaggerating and deepening that line, or those lines. 
And then taking some studs, I'm going to be latexing those onto my face as well. This is kind of where the high fashion E part comes in. And then we're going to be taking a smaller place. This is where I had to rip off the eyelash because I wasn't thinking about it. I'm gonna be latexing a smaller kind of roundish, squarish piece of napkin onto our face. And then taking some cotton, I'm creating an eye divot. Um, and then generously coat all of this with the latex. Now watch out if you're using an ammonia-based latex, this will make your eye water to holy hell and you might sog up the napkin. Fun fact, that's what happened to me. But taking some black eyeshadow, we're gonna be going into the crevice of that eye divot and making it black. Now taking a smaller piece of cotton, I already pre-poked a hole in this eyeball that I painted onto a ping pong ball and I'm going to be latexing part of the cotton into the ball and into the socket that we just made. Hooray for fake eyeballs! Fun fact, I'd actually never painted an eye like this before, so it was pretty fun and it actually turned out pretty awesome. Now taking some scabby blood, we're going to be going into those creases that we placed the black eyeshadow in and now is where it comes to life. The black eyeshadow, in case you guys didn't know, you could skip that step if you really wanted to, but it just deepens everything and it makes it seem more sunken in. And I love that about things. It's kind of like an illusion, I guess if you will. And yeah, we're just continuing with the scabby blood around the crevice of the eye hole that we made and on, um, on the scars. Then taking the bright bubblegum pink lipstick, I am going and kind of creating some round irritation in various spots and then placing theatrical blood over top of all of it. As well as putting that around the studs because I want them to seem like they are piercing my skin. And then taking a little bit more scabby blood, I am going back in and putting that in more various areas to seem brutal. Now taking some red lipstick, we're gonna be placing this all over our lips. You guessed it. And we're gonna be going back with a liner and kind of duo toning that as well. Starting now. I lied, it's more like eyeshadow, but you can do the same thing with eyeliner as well. As stated in one of my other tutorials, I love the effect of duotone lips. I think it gives it more dimension and more shape. Um, not to mention, bright lips don't really look too awesome on me, so I always have to make them dark. But as you can see, I'm only going to the middle of the lips with this, then placing more lipstick on top of that to kind of blend it, and it turns it into a really pretty color, not to mention it's got hints of both black and red in it. And then I'm taking more black eyeshadow on the eye nerve, connecting the eye thing and giving that more of a personality for itself. Now, last but not least, we're taking some body paint in black, which goes on gray, but we're gonna be smearing that underneath of the bottom jaw and bringing that down towards our chest area. This is another key factor in bringing this high fashion-y look to life. You know, you're just gonna go and coat it heavily underneath of the jawline, making sure that it's as dark as you can make it, and then just dragging the brush out down towards like the shoulder and where your neck connects to your chest area. And that'll give it a nice like grungy gradient effect. And then after this, you are done. Hey guys, and welcome back. That was the tutorial for this makeup look. If you liked what you saw in the video, definitely click that thumbs up button for me. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I put out new videos every day, Monday through Friday. If modeling is something that you are interested in, it takes a lot of work, a lot of practice, and a lot of study. You need to know yourself, you need to know your angles, you need to know a lot of things including design, 
you know, sometimes hair, sometimes makeup. I do all of it myself, and all of my shoots are done pretty much by me, with the exception of Chris, my photographer. So I will put his link in the description below because this is kind of like a high-end modeling type of thing. I hope that you guys are enjoying the 31 days of Halloween makeup tutorials, and if you are, definitely stay tuned because there are more coming up. I will see you guys in the next video. 